Parker, registered dietitian, and today I'm doing a special interview with Lauren McLeod, my dietetic intern for the two weeks. Um, so she's going to tell us a little bit about her experience as an intern. So Lauren, what led you to becoming a dietetic intern? So my path is kind of a little funky. I actually started off as a journalism major. Um, and I really got interested in scientific writing, so I was thinking maybe I'd do a bio minor to get more into that, and then I started learning more about nutrition, and I realized nutrition writing and education was more of something I was interested in, um, so I switched majors halfway through college, and then um, as I was going along, I realized I loved so much more about nutrition and what came with being a dietitian. So I continued working through college to become a dietitian, and actually I'm a Cal Poly alum uh, as well as now a Cal Poly dietetic intern. Cool, and you're almost done. I know. Hey. So close. <laughs> um, and as someone who also started out in a different major, I definitely understand. Um, for those of you that don't know, I started out pre-veterinary medicine, so um, we all get into it through different routes, but yeah, loving the science of it. Absolutely. Right, so what has been the most surprising part about being an intern? Oh my gosh, um, <laughs> there have been a lot of surprises for any of you who are trying to become dietetic interns. It's never like you think it's going to be. Um, but for me, I was really surprised by how much I was able to balance everything because I kind of saw, you know, when I was entering the internship application process, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to have absolutely no life, no time for anything, I can't work, I'm just going to be an intern but I've actually been able to pick up a part-time job, like very part-time. Um, <laughs> I don't recommend that to anyone. <laughs> it, I, I honestly might not recommend it either unless it's you really financially need that, but um, made it happen. You can make things happen. Um, but in addition to that, I have been able to spend time with friends and family. Um, I've had the time to still make food for myself and have mindful exercise. Um, and so I've been doing pretty well. I mean, I know you've seen my struggles. <laughs> it's definitely not always easy, but um, I think I've learned that you can do a lot more than you think you can. Yeah. I remember the internship being the hardest year of my life. And so yeah, you're balancing it all. And I think that's, it's a good life skill that people are going to learn when they're interns is that you have a lot of different plates spinning at all times. Um, you know, being an intern is more work than a full-time job, I think, so. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was, <laughs> yeah, thinking, yeah. I was thinking that it would just be so great to just have a full-time job. I'm actually looking yeah. forward to just having a full-time job. <laughs> so, Lauren, how has working with me at Not Your Average Nutritionist fit into your dietetic experience, and how are you going to use these um, skills in the future? Uh, so, I'm really glad you asked that because we don't actually have any sort of business training or um, eating disorder counseling built into the internship and so I was really excited to have the opportunity to use this as my elective rotation to kind of subs um, not substitute but add to my current internship experience. Yeah. Um, so I've really enjoyed the fact that even though I might not be ready to start my own private practice, I've already kind of seen how you've navigated the waters because, you know, for those of you who don't know, we don't get business training either in undergraduate or in a dietetic internship. Mm -hmm. So it's all very self-directed. Um, and so I feel a lot more confident having that knowledge base that you've offered me. Um, as well as the eating disorder counseling side, I've really enjoyed having the opportunity to practice that more. Uh, because it is, you know, a difficult counseling population and, you know, it's a really unique experience to get to work with them. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I want you to experience the things that I wish I had had during my internship because, uh, you know, as Lauren just said, we don't get any business training in undergrad or the internship unless you're seeking it out. So I had to teach myself how to do everything, piecing it together from mentors and people online and people that do not work in the field of dietetics. And um, I think it it's something that needs to be taught, as well as eating disorders. We really don't get enough training just as undergraduate nutrition majors. So um, some of the internships are definitely getting a lot better with having eating disorder rotations, but most of the time you're seeking that out on your own. So um, I hope everyone is uh, starting to get these experiences more and more in their internships. And I feel like it really is important to become a more mainstream part of that education mm -hmm. because, you know, all healthcare professionals, not just dietitians and therapists, are going to be involved in recognizing eating disorders, yes. even if we're not diagnosing them. 
Um, and to, you know, answer your question about future plans, in the future I would like to work in outpatient counseling, and especially this population has interested me, so it's fit perfectly. <laughs> You've been doing a great job with it. Oh, thanks. All right, so now for the big question, what are your plans for when you're done with the internship? Oh man, um, so a lot of the other interns are, you know, applying to jobs with the intention of getting jobs right after the internship. Um, I'm applying to a few, but honestly, I don't really want to work right away. I feel like I need some time to myself, not just to, you know, reconnect with friends and family, but also to study for the exam, because we do have that big old exam coming yeah. up. <laughs> Uh, for those of you that are watching and don't know, um, to become a dietitian after you've done um, your undergrad and now um, new undergrads are going to have to get their master's as well, and then doing the dietetic internship, which is generally a year long, it's at least 1,200 supervised practice hours, and then we have to take a big board exam like a nurse or a doctor would have to take, um, which is uh, quite a beast. So once, if you're working with a dietitian, you have someone who has gone through a lot of hoops and a lot of, you know, ethics training and medical practice training to be able to provide the care that they are. So if you know a dietitian in your life, go give them a hug because it's hard work. <laughs> Absolutely. And Lauren is almost there and she's gonna pass it. Oh, thank you. And you know, it really does take time. I mean, for me, it took uh, five years undergraduate mm -hmm. and then plus the additional years of dietetic intern. So before I even have sat in front of my first client as a dietitian, I have six years under my belt and that's just like right at the beginning. That's, yep. I'd say like five years is probably minimum with the mm -hmm. four year undergraduate degree and the extra year so yeah, yeah I also did lot. five years of yeah. super seniors <laughs> super seniors it's becoming way more common yeah now, so well that and changing majors it'll do yeah. it so well do you have any advice for future interns or RDs to be absolutely um going through this experience to you <laughs> going through this experience I've really learned uh to be confident in myself and my own abilities uh you can really translate that to any part of the experience, you know, applying to internships, just having the confidence in yourself that you are prepared, you are ready. It really comes across in your personal statement and in your interviews, as well as when you are finally, you know, working as a dietetic intern, showing your preceptors or supervisors um, that you really do know what you're doing and have some knowledge to offer. Uh, and it's important to have the confidence to ask questions mm -hmm. throughout the process because preceptors have repeatedly told me they appreciate knowing, you know, what they can do to improve or new insights that you have, which you do have. Yeah. Yeah, you know a lot more than you think you do. So I really appreciate Lauren's take on that because it's been a while since I've been an intern. So it's always great to hear. I love doing these interviews. Um, it's so fun to hear what's um, going on with someone else and their experience with it because everyone has a different experience. Um, whether you're a dietetic intern or you're doing something else, we all come at it with our own um, you know, internal knowledge and our passions. And it's really um, cool to see the different ways people go with it. So any final words, Lauren? Oh my goodness, final words. No matter what you're doing, no matter your path, just be confident. Even if you have nothing to do with nutrition, um, it's important to have confidence just in every area of your life. Perfect, perfect closing statement. Thanks so much for watching this interview. And if you'd like to see more about nutrition, health insight, and eating disorder treatment, please click subscribe below and we will see you in the next video. Thanks so much.